行くぞ才能の原石ども時代を変えるのは俺たちブルーロックだ Alright guys, so if you want to see how you can animate a manga,、uh, I'm going to show you right now. It's super simple, and, you could, and all you have to do is use free tools. I'm going to use Photopea and also CapCut, and I'll put the links down in the description and the link for CapCut for you to download it. So the first thing you're going to do is just like download a picture off of Google or whatever of a, of a manga or whatever you want to animate. And we're just going to come over to this website called Photopea. Okay, and、um, I'm just going to come up here to the top and open up that picture into this app. Now that we have our manga picture and we can animate it, so in here in Photopea, this is a free website. You're just going to come up to this filter tab and click on filter and click on liquify. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom in on his eye, and I'm just going to click on this smudge tool right here, and I'm just going to bring down the eye a little bit. I like to bring it down about halfway, just like that. And then what you can do is you can just click on OK and now zoom in. I'm going to move this picture. OK, get your eye where you want it. So now you can come over here to the clone tool, click on clone, and then you just hold Alt and click somewhere that you want to clone. So I'm just going to use like This shade right here. And we could just go ahead and cover up all of the all of the eye. And I wouldn't recommend just using only one of the colors. I would try and、uh, clone some different parts of the face just so it blends a little bit better. All right. So now, once you have this area covered up, you can come over here to the brush tool. And again, you can hold down Alt and click a color that you want to use for your brush. So I'm just going to click on this color that's for his eye. And I'm just going to go ahead and darken this up and make this.、Uh, so I'll just go ahead and draw it in his closed eye. I'll just add a little bit more to what we already have right here. Okay, now we can go ahead and zoom out and see how that looks. All right, so that looks pretty good. And now that you've created that, we're going to go ahead and save that. So just export it as a PNG. Okay, and I'm just going to save it as Nagi Blink. So go ahead and save that picture. And now we're gonna go ahead and go over to CapCut and I'm gonna show you how to animate it. It's gonna be super easy for beginners. Okay, anybody can do this. So let's go ahead and minimize this and bring up CapCut. All right, guys, now that we're in CapCut, we're gonna go ahead and import both of our pictures. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add this to the timeline. That is the clip of him with his blinking eye. And then Onto the track right above that, we will put the clip of him or the picture of him where both of his eyes are open. Now, I'm going to show you how simple it is to animate this picture and make his eye blink. Okay, so we got the one with both of his eyes on the track above, and the track below, we have the one with on the track below, we have the one with one eye. Okay. So let's come over here under the video tab. Under basic, you will see something that says blend. Okay. <clears throat> you can click on the drop down menu for that. And we're going to add a keyframe. Okay. So we're just going to go ahead and click add keyframe. Sorry about that. Make sure that you have the top clip selected with both of his eyes open. And go ahead and click add keyframe. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So just Come forward a couple frames and under the blend tab again, we're going to take the opacity and we're going to go all the way down to zero. And as you can see, his eye is now closed. And now we're going to go over a couple more frames and we're going to bring the opacity all the way back up to 100. And now, if you play this clip, you will see him blink just like that.
Now, if you want him to blink a little bit slower than that, just space out these keyframes a little more than how you had them originally. And he could do a slower blink. So depending on how far spaced out you have these keyframes will determine how slow or how fast he blinks. Okay. So there you go. Just like that, you can turn a static image or a static photo or a static picture of a manga into an animation just by creating two different pictures and using keyframes on the blend mode. All right, guys. So I recommend you guys try that out as a, for a beginner animation. It's super simple. It's very easy. Just follow this video. If you get confused, leave a comment down below and um, yeah, or watch the video over again or watch it in slow motion to make sure you're getting it right with the keyframes, but it's very simple. And um, yeah, so the next video, I'm going to do a much more in-depth tutorial for the animations for manga. I'm going to show you how to animate everything, the, the character's hair, his eyes, his arms, the background. So we'll be doing all of that. I'll show you how to add in music and uh, sound effects. Just like the very first clip that I made that you saw that introduction that I made. I'm going to go over that one and show you how to do all that. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.